What's up, everybody? It's Brian again with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Oh, today we've got level 14. Hello, is it Creo looking for free play? That's right, for Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. If my singing hasn't chased you off yet, then we're on a roll and we've got collectibles to get. And first off, we're going to actually purchase that 10x pink brick. That's right, we have collected enough studage to go ahead and round up 100 million studs. Now, this has been a long process, as you guys probably saw in our preparing for free play video. We picked up the lesser expensive pink bricks and added those to our arsenal and made sure to turn them on so every stud we collected was multiplied by our multiplier. Eventually, we purchased each one all the way up. Now, we have enough cheese to buy the big 10x so we'll go ahead and purchase that and most importantly we're going to go ahead and turn it on to change our 384 multiplier to a 3840 that's right a lot of you ask how do i get so much stud so quickly well it's because of these red and pink brick stud multipliers over the games that help us out in this case it's pink bricks most of the time it's the red ones but anyhow we do a few butt slams to grab a few studs on the way out look at that we already have what 25 million all right and we'll go ahead and put Pull up our map from here, as we don't need to leave the building to do so. Toggle over to the levels, and we're going to scroll all the way down to level 14. Hala, is it Cree you're looking for? Free play. That's right. Once we go ahead and select that, it's going to take us into a cutscene, which we have removed. And, of course, we have sped things up ever so slightly, too. Now, we're going to go ahead and pick Doctor Strange as our main character. It should automatically pick a character that'll have the telekinetic abilities that we're going to use right off the bat. But if not, you're welcome to choose whichever character you want as it is free play you do have access to any character you have collected thus far so here we go we're getting control of our characters and we've got all sorts of sparkly bits and things going on including the true believer for having such a high stud multiplier on already all, all it took was one or two studs uh, all right though first off on the left we're gonna go ahead and manipulate a couple of these boxes and slam them into this I don't know what it is it's like some sort of a vending machine or something uh, but we're gonna go ahead and put things away and all of a sudden we get some buildable bricks and booyaka show mini kit number one is officially ours now directly across on the far right side we're gonna have another little mini game this one's kind of fun you actually step on either one of these pressure sensitive switches to mix up the puzzle from here all we have to do is simply step on each switch two times I simply went left, right, left, right, and it went ahead and made everything all right. It'll spin around and give us a grapple plug that we'll go ahead and rip down with Doctor Strange as well. And look at that, booyaka show, whole bunch of bluesies and that mini kit toosie. So we'll go ahead and take it. Now next up, we're gonna switch on over to Ms. Marvel as she can go ahead and slide through this grate over here in the corner. It's actually gonna take us into this little underground room here which we can see a twinkling item in there and it just so happens to be the character token for Inferno. I really have no idea who Inferno is, but it sounded fun uh, and I don't know, anyway. Moving along, we're gonna do a couple butt slams and make our way over to the left. Now, just to the left of the big spinning tunnel here, we actually have another terminal we can hack with Ms. Marvel. But before doing that, I wanted to go ahead and rip off this strong handle because who knows, we never know who we're gonna have control over and I figured I might as well get that out of the way right now. Next up, we're gonna hop on through by getting oh so small, and look at this, we get our hack on by simply spinning around the world, that's right, simply use the left and right toggle buttons to go ahead and spin around, and oh no, I got stuck. I had to actually uh, tilt it backwards just once, and uh, eventually I make it all the way to the end, and guess what, pow, right in the kisser. Flip that red switcher, and out we come, and next up, it's gonna actually stop the tunnel, or slow it down for a minute anyways. And your gold piece may appear in a different section. It may be over to the right, maybe straight up and down, maybe off to the left. Uh, it just depends on where it was when it stopped. Now, hey, I've been noticing that every time I switch characters, uh, I'm getting this giant Ms. Marvel to pop up. I'm not sure what's going on there. Some sort of a weird loading glitch or bug. But uh, go ahead and melt down that gold panel with some heat ray and fly up there and get it. Hopefully, you'll have a little better aim than I and maybe not die. Oh, so next up, we're gonna fly all the way to the top. You might notice this red wire on either side of the spinning tunnel. As it turns out, there is a switch we can jump up onto and pull down. 
Unfortunately, we have to get both switches pulled at the same time, though. So luckily for us, though, once we get a character into place, he should hang out, quite literally. And once they're both flipped, it's going to go ahead and open the box. And guess what? Da -da -da -da! Mini kit number four. Now we just need a character with the flying ability to go ahead and get up there and swoop it up. Now, speaking of swooping, hey, if you guys are into free things like free Lego stickers and things like that, you should check us out on Facebook. Every Friday, we have a giveaway, and it's up to you to partake and maybe get a chance at winning some of that stuff. Now, you probably noticed there's a couple of silver statues around here. There are two on the left and one on the right. We'll go ahead and blast them out of sight with our silver brick breaker, Iron Man. Now, we got to get through this tunnel, but how are we going to do that? Everything's spinning around all crazy-like, so I'm actually going to kind of cheat and only do part of this puzzle we're gonna go ahead and fly up to the upper right side use a grappler to go ahead and pull that plug out once that plug gets removed it's gonna go ahead and, what, what is what is dr strange doing that's another thing i've noticed about this game especially in the last couple of levels there's been a lot of artificial intelligent switching here now every time they switch though they seem to grab a character that we already have out on the stage so uh, a, a game or two ago we had like three or four spider-mans out all at the same time and I was kind of like, what's up with that? Ooh, what's up with that? Oh, sorry. Sorry, I don't know why I'm feeling in a singing mood today. So uh, hopefully you guys can bear with me. If not, there's always that mute button. I know some of you haven't figured that out yet and go as far as to complain about my singing. Just mute me already. <laughs> anyway, all right, we're going to fly through this uh, weird patterned laser beam tunnel here. And we get on the other side. As soon as we get there, we actually get greeted by some locals, which we're going to go ahead and give them the old dance lessons. That's right, the old cha, 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 cha. And hey, if you're in a hurry for that next collectible, I forgot to mention, we do have quick links down below. The next one's going to be mini kit number five, but we're almost there now, so I don't know if it's really worth pressing it or not. But uh, all right, take out the baddies. Your little escort has been thwarted. And once that's dealt with, go ahead and press that button there, which will allow the rest of our crew to make it through the tunnel safely. And then we're going to go ahead and make our way to the far left side. Now, I do play a little game of musical characters here before I get the character I want. And then I fall off the edge and plummet to my doom. But eventually, I get somebody that can turn into one of the giant roller balls. And we can go ahead and manipulate this little puzzle over here. Now, noob alert! That's right. So, this is quite the conundrum for me. And uh, I actually failed miserably at this. And I left it all in there because, you know, I just wanted to show how this gets done. Essentially, we got to use the, uh, I guess it's the left and the right, or is it the analog stick? I don't remember, actually. I, I think it's the analog stick. You tap the analog stick, and it moves this ever so slightly. It could be L1 and R1, or left bumper, right bumper, depending on which game you're playing, or which console. But uh, essentially, what we got to do here is we got to manipulate it and move this ball so that it will go ahead and make it all the way down through the passageways. Now, to get there, there are a couple of little sensor buttons that we have to uh, roll that ball into. Now, this one's kind of tricky. It's straight up above us. So how on earth are we going to get it up there? Well, if you place the ball just right on that blue spot, it's going to bounce the ball up. As you can see there, I'm struggling trying to get that right angle. And as you might have guessed, it is a funny angle. And it's all about the speed of that ball. And eventually, I get it. It gives it the old pow right in the kisser. It gives me the green light and allows me to drop down to the next one. And the next one is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Look at that. Mini kit is up. And all we have to do is walk up and collect it now. So uh, it wasn't a complete fail, but it was pretty redonkulous. But... Next up, in the middle of the room, we're going to find this little fire burning away. We're going to pull out Captain and his shield and go ahead and give it the old stamp. And booyah kashow, we got some buildable bricks that turn into a mini kit. So we'll go ahead and swoop that up. And then right to the right of that, we're going to find ourselves a oomts, 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 oomts techno panel. Now, this one is kind of confusing. I actually have a solution in our trophy achievement guide that was provided by Tyler. And it says the solution to the puzzle is top left two, top right one, bottom left three, bottom right one. Well, I can't even move the bottom right one unless he was referring to the red one. And so anyways, I just got a little uh, crazy and started pushing a bunch of buttons right here. Watch this. And all of a sudden, I actually get it. So I kind of apologize for this as I don't even know how I solved this. 
because it just doesn't make any sense. I just kind of pressed a couple up there and all of a sudden, boom, it works. Now, however, I may have actually pushed the sequence required, but may have done it in an awkward fashion. But regardless, we freed Lee and he is officially ours. We got that gold brick and we'll move on to the next thing, which happens to be a mini kit hiding behind this giant apparatus. This big uh, sonar machine actually has the next mini kit hiding right behind it. And we're going to go ahead and swoop that right about now. There's Ms. Marvel again. Like, what the heck? I wasn't even Ms. Marvel. And all of a sudden, I'm a giant Ms. Marvel switching to the next character. So some sort of a weird loading or uh, glitch, something that's gone on there, a bug of some sort. But uh, all right, so we've got that mini kit behind there. Now it's time to switch on over to the Black Bolt and get some sonarage on. We'll fly up to the top here, and the aim should be good to go. You just got to go ahead and throw your voice into that big old glass megaphone. And look at that. And booyah kashow. We are successful with our sonar breakage. In comes the debris, and ooh, look at that. It even cracks the wall for us. And to be honest, it even gives us a little pile of bricks on the far right, which we can dig up and find our next collectible. But first, a few butt slams and roars brought to you by the Black Bolt. And of course, we got this guy with this spear, and I can't seem to land any of my attacks. I, he keeps blocking everything. So I try to do a couple of butt slams and knock him off the edge. But unfortunately, it doesn't do me any good. And eventually, I give up. And guess what? I go ahead and I build up the old push switch. And we push that along and get it into place. And we also switch on over to a character with the digging ability. Oh, and there's that big Ms. Marvel again. Like, what the heck? I don't know why that keeps doing that. But we'll go ahead and dig up this mini kit and collect it as it is number eight. Thank you very much. And hey, if you haven't checked us out already on Patreon.com, please do as it gives you the option to support us, the creator, uh, individually. And you can uh, actually have some access to us, including a special Facebook group and other things. So, and hey, if you are already a Patreon supporter and you do not have access to that Facebook group, you need to go ahead and let me know and I will go ahead and get you added as I need an email in order to invite you. So anyhow, uh, that being said, we'll go ahead and get our sonar on again. Now this actually drops the old force field preventing us from getting out of here. And look at that, it also reveals some gold and some silver too. So we'll go ahead and take on those baddies, the gold and silver, as soon as we gain control of our character. Now I get really excited here and I switch characters and there's the giant Ms. Marvel again. I seriously don't know what's going on with that. But as I fly over to the left hand side, I realize urgh, better hit the air brakes and head back over to the right hand side because I forgot to melt that other silver statue. I should say blow up that other silver statue. We gotta melt the gold and blow up the silver, Brian. Come on, where you been? All right, so we'll go ahead and take out statue four of five. And last but not least, the fifth one is actually behind where that force field was. And booyah kashow, number nine is officially ours. Now we just need to melt this gold. As it turns out, there's a gold plate on both the left and the right side of our exit strategy here. But we actually need to go ahead and hit the right one as for whatever reason, the left one just has some studdage behind it. I'm not sure why they gave us two gold panels to go ahead and melt down. I guess maybe... Uh, some symmetry, I guess. But uh, anyhow, I, I tried to take out these bad guys as I was having troubles melting. It was kind of a funny angle. And uh, yeah, look at this. Look at my reticle. Where am I aiming? I don't even know what's going on here. This was not my best level. However, uh, it's all right, though. We're almost done. And in fact, it actually takes us in, once we complete the collectibles and we make our way down this hallway, it takes us into a final battle with the Supreme Intelligence. Now, there are no collectibles in that final area, and it took seven or eight minutes, and I figured, why do I need to talk over all that when there's nothing of importance? So we're going to go ahead and place a card up in the top right anytime, and we'll go ahead and use that as an uh, indication. So if you need help getting through that, I guess is what I'm getting at. If you're lost, you can't figure out how to beat the boss battle, which is a really cool boss battle. We actually have to fight uh, and do some dance-offs and stuff, too, which is pretty sweet. But, oh, to the yeah, we have officially skipped that final boss battle, and we are heading to the tunnels. That is right. Look at that. Hello, is it me? Oh, oh psych, is it Cree? Oh, looking for? It's not me. It's Cree. <laughs> we got it complete in the story, which gave us the first gold brick. We got that true believer stud requirement, which gave us that second gold brick we got all those mini kits that were scattered throughout which is going to give us that third gold brick and last but not least we freely 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 to go ahead and get that final 
Gold Brick. Oh, we got the Captain Marvel comic, which we'll check out at a later date once we get them all. But uh, last but not least, we do collect the character token for Inferno. So we'll go ahead and add him to our collection. Well, not quite. We still got to purchase him and a handful of other characters. But we got lots of studage thanks to our 3,840 multiplier from our pink bricks. But hey, that's going to wrap it up for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 Level 14. Hala, it's Kree. Is it Kree you're looking for? Boy, I'm having a hard time saying that. But anyhow, good thing it's over. Hopefully you've moved on to the next video where those collectibles are. Uh, if you haven't already, check out the Thumbie Must See. And as for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time.